Hello guys, welcome to Jim Will Shave. Nice to be here, nice to have you here. Welcome. Okay, uh, put a, another razor here, kindly send it to me uh, from Yarchi, Grace. Thank you very much, Grace. And this one is the Yarchi Ultima Stainless Steel Safety Bar Adjustable Razor. Just look at that. Isn't that nice? Nice, high polished, highly polished stainless steel. Got this banding on the uh, handle here, so it's not a barley twist, so it is a proper grip. It's not going to go slipping down through your fingers too easily. Uh, bottom here, we have the adjuster knob. Yeah, we have the, uh, sorry, that's not the adjuster knob, that's the adjuster knob. That's the solution that raises to change the blades to take the top cap off. And here is the adjuster knob. And it's very smooth, very smooth action. And like I did with the, uh, Slope, I'm just gonna move that and you can see that you can see that go up going here. It shoots up like a rocket. So it just shows you the uh, the range we have on here. Currently I set at number one, it goes all the way up to number six. But like like the other adjustables I've tried of the Archie, it actually goes back round to one, so you're actually going up to number seven. So uh, yeah, of course you've got your increments in between, the halfway increments. Blade gaps on this. Position 1 is 0.75 millimetres. Position 2 0.85 millimetres. Position 3 0.95 millimetres. Position 4 1.05. Position 5 1.25 millimetres. And position 6 1.45. But as I say, I'll go right the way down to uh, back to number 1, which is position 7. And I'd probably take a guess on that, and I'd probably guess it'd be something like ooh, 1.65 or something, but uh, yeah, a bit aggressive. But uh, yeah, so yeah, so even on number one, it's 0 0.75 millimeters. So uh, I reckon this is going to be a very efficient razor if it's anything like the other uh, Yarchi just as that I've tried. So, highly polished <clears throat> stainless steel. It's about 100 grams in weight. You actually don't uh, give the exact weight, it's, just, it's about 100 grams in weight. The point of balance, it's actually tricky to get out, but it's just under the collar. That's the point of balance, balance of the razor. 88 millimeters from the bottom of the knob here to the top cap. So 88 millimeters in length, which is a great short razor. I love razors for that length, me. Uh, the handle itself is 77 millimetres and the handle diameter is 12 millimetres. So I think most people will get a, could get along with this without, uh, so I, I like nice, nice short handles like that. Sits nicely on the pinky and you can grip it by the point of balance there. So yeah, that's an ideal, ideal for me. So before we start, I'm going to set this. Oh, in here, sorry. I do have the Yora Max, now called the Silver Max Blade, and that's on its second use. I'm going to start the shave on, like we said, position 4 is 1.05. I'm going to start on position 4. That's what I do with all new adjustables now. I'm, no, I'm not a hero. I'm not going to go cranking it right up to the top and skim myself. Start midway, then <laughs> work from there. That's the safest way, isn't it? Okay, clean for today. It's recently in uh, Windsor, Eton and London. So <clears throat> I took a walk into uh, German Street. Uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street shop is. As I'd been to Eton the day before, I'd walked into Eton from Windsor, not very far, but I'd seen all the posh boys around of uh, the funny shirts and uh, all the uh, Eton Etonians. So, uh, well, yeah, look at this. Taylor of Old Bond Street, Eton College Collection. So this is the Eton College Centre. Inspired by uh, the barber shop that uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street used to have in Eton. I don't know if they still do. But they did have a barbage up there. So that's the inspiration behind this soap, this cream rubber. First use. It's beautiful, honestly. It's a uh, little floral and mostly uh, citrus to me. So citrus and floral. Uncomplicated. The hooter picks it up, you know what's in there. And I like that. That is nice. So that's a soap we're using. Uh, I didn't get the aftershave splash for this soap, but I did get the clone. 
because cologne lasts, lasts so much longer. So I won't be using that straight after the shave. What I will be using is this concoction I made up some time ago with Twitch Hazel and the tea tree. Is it tea tree? Yeah. Yeah, it is, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be, I'll be using that later. And because I will be jumping into the shower and later on, I'm going out the door, I'll put the cologne on. Okay. What else? So I, the brush I'm going to be using today, if I can find where to put the... Ah, there we go. It's going to be the Archie Robin. The Archie Robin. 24 millimetres. Beautiful, isn't it? So simple, so simplistic. In this case, this is definitely one of those cases where less is more. It looks so stylish. And it's, because it is clear, but it's, it's nice, isn't it? So that's the brush for today. All this way. I sent in from... Uh, Every time I go to come out with a name, I draw Mark Davis, Shave Nation Bowl. So I'm going to be using that today. So obviously, I'm going to be bowl lathering, going to. Okay, let's get the bins off and uh, get down to business. Going to be using my uh, little spade here, little brass spade, spade spoon. And I'm just going to take a spade full. Maybe, maybe a bit too much there. But well, that's what I'm taking anyway. And hopefully that'll come off the spade. No it won't. Well, that's a hell of a bit along with my fun. There we go. That's in the bottom of the Shave Nation bowl. Put the base there. Okay, drop the brush into the uh, water here. Give it a good soak in. Shake off the excess. People ask what I'm doing down here, what, what have you got down there, Jim? Well, rather than shave directly into the sink and have all the gunk and air going into the wash basin, because I live alone, you know, when I have to clear all my own stuff, I, uh, <laughs> I do what Ken Surfs does, and I, uh, I have a bowl set aside, a stainless steel bowl, so once I finish shaving, it goes down the loo. But all I've got to do, Rinse out the bowl and it's uh, easier than polishing the uh, wash basin every time. Oh, that's posh. Can you hear that? What a sound! Gorgeous. That's nice. Citrus definitely coming to the fore. I'm lathering. Just do one more dip in the water and that'll do it. It's like a lot of people make when they're using shaving cream such as this is they don't use enough uh, hydration, don't add enough water. But uh, look at that, that'll do me. Oh, uh, that's in the bowl, look. Yeah, nice. Oh, I don't know. Looks so satisfying sometimes, doesn't that bowl for the lather? But these whiskers, I've actually had my first proper head shave in over a week because remember my last video I had this awful, awful scab on the head, industrial injury again, where it actually cracked my head inside the luggage locker of a coach. And uh, so that scab I had there, I put my fingers on it and shave around it, so I wasn't getting the perfect head shave. So last night I managed to uh, remove the last of the scab and uh, a decent head shave the last, and it felt great, it felt great. When you're a regular head shaver and you haven't shaved the dome for a few days, as soon as you do get it off, oh, what a feeling. What a feeling this lava is. That's nice. Definitely citrus in the fall. Citrus forward. I like it. Very nice.
Okay. Let's get to it. So, the Yarchi stainless steel, Ultima, Ultima stainless steel safety bar razor. And I'm starting off position number four. Blade, the Auto Max, now called Silver Max, second use. Yep, that feels comfortable to me. Maybe I could have gone up to five. In fact, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take it up to five. Let's be brave. Let's be brave. Yeah, that feels good on five. Absolutely no reason to go any higher. Unless I can shave for a week or so. Which I can assure you wouldn't happen. Not because I'm so concerned about her uh, image. Oh, that's nice. But because if I have, say, three or more days growth on the face, it irritates me. I start itching, I start playing with it. I think last time I did have a growth similar to that on my face. I'd, I think I had COVID or something and I just couldn't be bothered. COVID or the flu, something like that. And I remember, I even remember the day when I did shave it off and I did it on camera for YouTube. And it was such a relief. Tell you what, perfect. How much is this resale for? I think it's, did I note it down? No, I didn't, but I think it's site resale to round out uh, 127, £128 sterling. Easy to find online. Google it, Yorkie Ultima Stainless Steel Safety Bar. I prefer to Google things like that rather than just follow a link because going through the search engine can offer you many more options different prices for instance, different deliveries, different deals. So yeah, so I, well, let's just do things that way. That was a good pass. That was a good first, uh, first pass. Couldn't ask for better. Uh, the blade feel. I did like it. What five? No need for me, I don't think, to go any higher than five. Gorgeous scent, gorgeous, marvelous, absolutely marvelous, marvelous. I haven't been drinking, honest. Okay. Knock it down a bit because I don't fancy doing the uh, across the grain on such a high setting. So I'll knock it down. So that was on setting number five, which was 1.25 millimeters. So I go back down to four and see how we get along there. The 
there's a marked difference between four and five. And I've noticed that on these uh, Yakis, y Yorkies. You notice the difference between the settings. Now, another Pearl Flexi. To me, Pearl Flexi from India. Which is a budget adjustable. I think it's the first three settings on that razor and you don't notice much difference. As soon as you get above three, it's a woodworking tool. <laughs> it's a planer. It's uh, But no such things. No such thing with the uh, this Yachty. That's so smooth. Do a little cheat. Right. And I'm just picking all the whiskers off there. Loving this scent. It's posh. Oh, that's so gentle. Really is a marked difference between five and four. That five is awesome at taking down the initial. First pass, the initial uh, with the grain pass. Right, crank this down for the uh, against the grain. I've been thinking maybe a little wee bit there uh, about going for different settings for the uh, goatee. So I'm going to take this down for to two, position two, 0 0.85 millimeters. Let's see how we get on with that, shall we? Zero point eight five millimeters. That's a good uh, blade gap for position two, isn't it? Right. This posh lover on. Let's just try and uh, stay away from these uh, London gentlemen shops. You know, <laughs> cost a fortune. It was me and uh, and Tobbs because I went to uh, went to Trumpers as well around the corner. And uh, me and this chap, I think he was Spanish or had some foreign accents anyway. But uh, he was stood next to me in the shop and he was doing exactly the same as me. He was taking all the lids off. I'm a good old sniff. Was, uh, I think a German family had gone in, and uh, I don't really, the German guy didn't stay in there for too long. I don't think he could understand what we were all doing, sniffing these soaps. <laughs> Probably thought we were all lost our minds. That's really wild on two. Is it on two or three? Bloody hell. Eyesight, man. Eyesight. How can I forget what I've just put it on? Yeah, it's on two. It is very gentle. So again, a massive difference. Stepping down to three. Which is what you want from an adjustable, really, isn't it? You don't want an adjustable where there's no difference between the settings, do you? So a good broad range, I like that. 
I mean, if you want to get a little difference, what's the point shaving with adjustable? A lot of resistance on the moustache. But that's quite normal for me, especially on this side, because this side's thicker than that side. Much easier on this side, it's weird, I know it's weird. Just listen to that blade doing his work. Oh, I'm getting the, uh, as you know, I uh, had to outlaws have the medium, the, the, sorry, the mild version and the original version. But tomorrow, version three arrives. Coming in from Hong Kong, from Steve Tinter, all for Shave Works. Very speedy. Delivery. See? Might do an album test. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'll shave with this outlaw and uh, I think we'll do a comparison with the version 1 version 2 outlaw. Go for the rinse fellas. Sitting for one of the album blocks now. Well, those lying around. This is in my travel bag. I should have got this out before. I do apologize. Here we go. I found it. Got a big travel bag. And here we go. Bought from Osborne House in the Isle of Wight, and it was sold as a deodorant. Um. Slight tingle. Obviously, more of a tingle when I'm stashing goatee. Tingle on the neck. Maybe using this because I'm not going to use a proper aftershave just yet. So, nothing really to write all about. From the Alan report. It's all served down now. Yeah, so there's no no big stings, just the usual tingle that you would uh, come to expect. Alan, always give you Ah bugger, chip me Alan. <laughs> I was going to say, I always give it a good dry, but uh, it degrades. But I uh, knocked that up. Got a big chunk missing out of it now. So I shall have to be uh, wary of that. So I'll have to uh, get that under the water, just rinse it under the water and smooth it down with my fingers to get rid of any sharp edges. <coughs> plonker, absolute plonker. Okay, I've got a slight weeper there that appears to have been stopped. So I'll, uh, no I won't, I was going to rinse the alum off, but I won't, I'll leave it on for a moment because I'm only putting the witch hazel and uh, squash on. So, just quickly go through today's shave. So for today, 
Taylor of Old Bond Street, Eton College, Eton College. Great, fresh scent, mostly citrus forward, uh, back notes of floral, very nice indeedy. That was all lowered up in the Shake Nation bowl. And the brush for today was the Yarchie 24mm Yarchie Robin brush, synthetic knot. No animals were hurt in breaking in this video. Uh, later on, I will be using the uh, Taylor Old Bond Street cologne. But, uh, oh, the blade for today was Euro Max, now called Silver Max, on his second use. And the razor, which I <laughs> forgot to mention, was the Ultima stainless steel safety bar adjustable razor. Wonderful razor. Well worth 127, 128 quid, whatever it costs. Okay guys, thanks very much for joining me on this occasion. It's been a pleasure having you here. You all take care, stay safe, I'll see you all further down the line. Bye bye now.